today is uh, Saturday, May 6th, and we're here at Cedar Point for opening weekend. Uh, we're super excited to be seeing the boardwalk, the wild mouse coaster, the Grand Pavilion, uh, see what other changes have happened in the park over the winter, uh, and see if we can catch some rides. The park opens at 10 a.m., but Platinum Pass holders and Prestige get early entry at 9. There aren't any signs, so there's a lot of confusion, but there are a few lines over to the right that are meant for early entry, while everyone else can start lining up on the left. It is about 15 minutes before park opening, but there is a lot of confusion and people on the wrong lines. And here is the new Wild Mouse Coaster, located in the new Boardwalk area. Wow. Wild Mouse is an early entry ride, however, it's still only testing. So the green one has weights in it too. So the green one only has one blue one in it. So it, yeah, it doesn't spin as much as the one with two in it. So it's kind of neat though. I guess it makes sure that you get a different kind of Experience. different ride every time okay, are, you get it. Do you see like the, um, the Ferris wheel right now? <laughs> like straight at, or not on um, the Ferris yeah. wheel. This is the most comfortable seat. I wonder how big the spike was. That's what gonna have one. Yeah, I was gonna say that's what I have to be at this point. What they're building, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something that extends the layout in one way or another. And I'm thinking that with Ellis and Lonnie. There's a circus show at 2.40 by the Ferris wheel. <laughs> almost at the front of the line. I've been waiting here almost three hours and just found out that it might not even open today. So these are the different mice based on, or the cars that are based on. We got Larry, Chase, Maisie. Then we have Dizzy, Zaggy, and Ziggy over here. We just stood in line for roughly three hours hoping that it would open, uh, hoping for a little bit of clarity on if it would open or not. Unfortunately, with it being as new as it is, there's still some kinks to work out. They had some issues on Thursday, I guess, for the media day. And uh, after that, they closed it, I guess, the rest of Thursday. It was closed all day yesterday, which was uh, Ohio CU Day. And then today for opening day, it has not opened yet. They'd like to try to get it open, but it's kind of looking like uh, rather doubtful at this point. And here are the ride times. Milan Force is at 75 minutes, Magnum at 5, Gemini is down, Cedar Creek is at 15, Maverick's at 60, Steel Vengeance is down, Gatekeeper's at 120, Raptor is down, Bob Raven at 60, Blue Streak at 45, Corkscrew at 5, and Rigaroo down. So here we are at the boardwalk, the new section of Cedar Point. In the back is the Grand Pavilion restaurant and bar, which a night with a nice view of Lake Erie. Here we have Troika, Troika, Troika. So what do you think, 
with the Ferris wheel block and the Grand Pavilion. I still think it's stupid. Yeah, I agree. Well, especially because they have these like pillars out front. I don't know. Let us know what you think. Do you think it's dumb that the Ferris wheel is right in front of the Grand Pavilion here? Or do you think it's it works? And then over here we have Calypso. Huh? And in the back there is the entrance to the Wild Mouse. And here we have the Matterhorn, which was moved over from the kind of by the corkscrew. And here's another angle of the Wild Mouse poster. We just saw him taking um, some of the water dummies out. So, I don't know, maybe that's a good sign. We have cool new themed trash cans for this area. And I love the new Atomic Scrambler sign. Welcome to Atomic this is like super elegant in here. Do you want to get in line right away? Sure. That's okay with you. Yeah. So it looks like there's two sides. There's a side over here and then there's a side over there. So it looks like they have pavilion plate favorites, which includes one entree, one side, and one general. Um, the boardwalk ladder is 1949 and is also on the dining plan. And here you have a key lime pie and a strawberry shortcake for dessert, slow roasted turkey breast, the dry rubbed pork tenderloin, funnel cake fried shrimp, beer battered fish, chicken tenders, steak fries, pineapple tropical fried rice, Syracuse salt potatoes, glazed pineapple, shaved Brussels slaw, marinated cucumber, and cold ramen noodle salad. So we got the roasted turkey. Uh, they ran out of rolls, so they gave us a prize instead. And then we got the salted... Salted potatoes? Salted potatoes with uh, like butter sauce drizzled on top of it. Whirl. Huh? Whirl. So this is the upstairs section of the Grand Pavilion. This is the indoor area. There's lots of outdoor seating as well. They do have some of the condiments, uh, silverware, and napkins up here. It's very bright and airy. They have cool old school artwork throughout. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the boardwalk, or the... Hotel Breakers. Hotel Breakers. Uh, similar style. And then here is the menu that they have up here at the bar. They have some signature cocktails, new old fashioned, crystal rock punch, salt air margarita on the rocks, watermelon summer sensation. And it's cute because they, even here they have some nice old pictures of the park. Boardwalk blueberry vodka lemonade, breakers blueberry bellini. Has some beer as well and some frozen cocktails. Just finished our meal here at the Grand Pavilion. Um, for the price of it was what about twenty dollars. Um, I don't think the portion was worth it, but we do have the dining meal plan, so you know the meal is fine for us. But if you're paying twenty dollars for it, I don't think the portion was worth it. Um, the turkey was nice and moist. I liked the seasoning on it. 
uh, but I felt like I had some fatty pieces on it. I don't know if it was the skin or just like the chunk they got. And the potatoes were good, but they were like kind of sweet. I don't know, or maybe just like the buttery sauce was just like really <laughs> buttery. Salty. Maybe that's it, just salty and buttery. I really want to take it and start doing that at home. I like those a lot. Oh, yeah. I like the potatoes a lot. I uh, they were like uh, baby potatoes or something. They were calling them like smashed. They weren't smashed at all. I, they were sugar. I thought it was sugar ling or something inside, or salt ling. Because it's like they maybe they boil them in like salt water and then it leaves like salty like crust around them and then they put like butter sauce like whirl on them and uh, I liked them I thought they were pretty good I totally ate those at home they're probably not good for you but and you like the turkey I like the turkey a lot yeah I'm also hungry so that helps just not the portion size doesn't look good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy if I paid $20 for that. Uh, it's an amusement park, so I guess it is what it is, but it wasn't great. So here's a view from upstairs at the Grand Pavilion. And right here, we have the restrooms. The bathrooms here are the nicest on property, and they have these really nifty sinks where you have your water in the center, your soap on the left, and your dryer on the right. And we have some nice comfy chairs, and the bar. Oh, that's cool, a little roller coaster back there where the alcohol is. More condiments over here. This looks like it's a little grab and go section. So they got some Bavarian nuts, artisan flatbread pizza, Bavarian pretzel sticks, jumbo chicken wings, breasted cheese curds. And they look really nice down here. More condiments over here. And we're gonna go outside on this deck. And you can get nice views of the Welcome Miles coaster, which is still testing. So it kind of hangs out over the boardwalk. I really like these tables and chairs out here. The chairs are pretty comfortable. I try to come up here when it's dark out sometime. Well, that's what I was thinking between when it's like warmer outside and then uh, um, it'd be really nice and then at night. The only thing I think is annoying is that they have three separate like balcony areas and that none of them connect. I kind of like it. Yeah? I don't think it makes a difference. I'm assuming it has to do with the way the building looks on the outside. I don't know. Yes. And it's nice too with like the windows. You can still see out from inside. Some of the windows open. Yeah. the found or the pavement how it kind of looks like a boardwalk 
Um, and they have all this live entertainment, which makes it super cool too. Definitely embracing that boardwalk theme over here. I also like all like the well manicured um, landscape. I know this stuff's gonna change as it starts to grow, but it's very pretty. And then this is where the Scrambler and Matterhorn used to be. Uh, and right now they kind of just concreted the area over. I'm not sure what's gonna be put over here. I can't even tell anything changed over here. Yeah, it definitely, like you can't tell that there used to be rides here. No. Well, because nice like, open, yeah, well, because over here, like, they just filled it in with grass and like, yeah. foliage. I'm pretty sure they did all this. Because they got a pipe down there. And then yeah. They're definitely uh, putting footers in for something. Those oh, are uh, yeah. rather large footers. I'm trying to figure out where the hell it is. How it's going to intertwine with the Iron Dragon? Well, I'm kind of more so trying to figure out where where the ride would be because of where the station's at yeah. and the direction that this goes. It almost seems like there's going to be maybe a spike. Here? Maybe like here. I can see that. Because those things are beefy, so yeah. they're going to be holding up. I mean, you see the circle, mm -hmm. and then you look at like these circles and how much bigger those circles are. Yeah. <laughs> so those are going to be uh, pretty large, pretty large beams. And then I'd have to guess there's a third one maybe back somewhere in there. So that's going to be a rather sizable structure. What I thought or what I'd like to see is if it's still full circuit and it comes either above it and goes back or something. But That'd be cool. Didn't someone say the Iron Dragon is like not open for a while? It's closed until at least the end of May, I guess. Do you know why? Because of the construction, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because they don't want people on the ride when they're doing probably work over here. No, that makes sense. And then they got people underneath it and stuff. Yeah. I'm excited, it'll be cool. Dude. Looks like Gemini is down right now, but they are testing. Um, haven't really been paying attention to most of the other rides that have been down. Um, but like, kind of how Kings Island was with opening weekend, um, and both parks with opening weekend, trying to get the rides back up for this season. Uh, they've been having some technical difficulties with some coasters today. So you may think this long line is for Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A is no longer here at Cedar Point. And instead, it's Frontier Inn with handcrafted burgers, pizza, and chicken. So we heard there's a possibility that they're not selling pizza anymore over there um, since they're selling pizza at the new Frontier Inn behind us. Um, so this location might be changing what they're all selling at engine number three. Well, engine number three Spirits, was that always there? No, it used to be ice cream. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see more in the summertime what's all. All right, let's all see here what's on the map. So we got a new bar 1870. So that's in the main midway area over here. Um, also, we have a new Funway Arcade in this area. Of course, we have the boardwalk now open with the Grand Pavilion restaurant and bar. We have the new Frontier Inn back here, along with Engine Company Spirits. So Engine, Engine Company Spirits is new. And that's where we're at over here. Yeah, it looks like maintenance bringing in the, all the pieces to add to the swings over here. This might not be opening. At least not today. It's definitely not opening today. Hey, what can I get for you? Uh, can I have a drink, please? Thank you. It's mostly drunk. No one knows what's going on here. 
If it's open, it's open. If it's not, it's not. So when we came here for winter chill out, this was not Watkins Horse and Hatchery. We were told this was gonna be a Famous Dave's quick service location, even though there's a Famous Dave's sit down location off by the docks. Uh, so it looks like Rock Watkins Horse and Hatchery is gonna have emu eggs by the dozen, emu wingdings, and emu egg yolk co ugh, cocktails. Um, I'm I somehow think this is a joke and it's just not gonna open. Oh, you think so? Like it's not gonna be Famous Dave's? I mean, I'm I'm kind of thinking that fell through. I'm just I was excited for Famous Dave's in the park. What's going on, Cedar Point? Make up your minds. I'm very excited for whatever show that we're holding here this year because the scenery looks amazing. Uh, looks like they're kind of doing something off of Hotel Breakers. Uh, you got the Blue Streak, Gatekeeper. Okay, so it looks like Cedar Point School's out. Pep Rally opens June 3rd. And then Summer Bration? Bration? Celebrate Summer Bration. I got it. Opens June 23rd. used to be Johnny Rockets. And as you can tell, it is no longer Johnny Rockets. Rumor has it that they're going to be moving arcade stuff in here, uh, kind of to complete this game area. Um, so we'll see. If I remember correctly from Winter Trail, they did say this taco stand is closing and is moving and joining Derby Dog, which is just on the other side of Cedar Downs. So this did open not too long ago, maybe like an hour or two ago. Um, but, oh, there is a maintenance dude. I see somebody's head, it looks like almost in the park. Oh, up there? Yeah, if you look on the right side. Oh, yeah. I saw a maintenance guy wearing um, like a harness, like he's gonna go up there or something. I wonder if we're about to get e -backed. Yeah. If they get e -backed. Second meal. This time we got fish, the fries. We did get the roll, and we're sitting downstairs. And then here's some wild mouse merch. We got keychains. We got patches. We got hats. An adorable little mouse. We got T-shirts, and we got coaster cutouts of each of the ride cars. It looks like in the back there we got some uh, shot glasses and mugs, along with these as well. As you can see, we are now back home. Uh, the fish at the Grand Pavilion was really good. We did get to try the dinner roll and that was delicious. Um, it was nice that they were introducing other options that you don't find across the park, uh, but the portion sizes are a little small for the price. So that's a little unfortunate. We did finally get to ride the Wild Mouse Coaster. We ended up waiting an hour and a half in line for it. Um, it was short. Uh, it, we they were trying to pair everyone together um so we were a party of two they paired us with another party of two which is fine with um made the line go by quicker so because it had distributed evenly distributed the weight across um you didn't whip around like in some of the tests we saw where they had you know two people sitting on one side kind of whipped a little bit more spun a little bit more 
Um, overall, it was a really fun ride. It's a different experience than any of the other coasters you have across the park. Um, it was insanely short though, and I don't know if it didn't help because we waited so long for it, but it was insanely short. Um, and for waiting an hour and a half, we would rather go on other rides like Millie or Steel Vengeance or Maverick. Um, but a neat experience. Um, it's cool that they have a different character like each ride vehicle is a different mouse character, which is super neat. Um, it makes it really fun. I mean, a lot of kids in line were like, I want to ride, you know, Maisie, I want to ride this one. And I want to ride Larry. And so that's really cute, a really fun, exciting things for the kids. Um, definitely like good for the kids. A lot, you do get punched in the gut for some of the spins. <laughs> Everyone in the ride vehicle is kind of like, Ugh! a few times, um, but you feel very secure in it. Um, and it is a fun ride. Overall, the boardwalk, great addition to the park, liked the theming, loved the iLife Life entertainment there. The circus show was super fun. Um, just a really nice addition, especially kind of like bringing out Lake Erie and the history of the park. I thought it was really cool. All the old um, photos in the Grand Pavilion, very nice and clean and updated. Everyone, everything's so bright and cheery. Go check it out. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, we'll probably definitely be back at Cedar Point later this year to see other shows. Uh, once the summer kind of hits, more shows are going to be opening. Ride some other rides uh, that we didn't get to this weekend and uh, check out some other stuff going on there at the park. Stay tuned for more videos of us going to different amusement parks this year. But thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe.